Five seconds remaining. Templar Assassin. He's a support around the corner. He's having a tough time. This, if he can get the kill, pretty nice. Arc 2 burning across. It's not going to be enough. EPD there finding the first bug with the thunder strike. Do, do you see what AUI has purchased on Endimage? I think. Eyes again onto Illidan and always want to fly fear. Forcing back the Wyvern. They've got the glimpse back. Now out comes the Arctic Burn. Can he get himself out of harm's way in time? It doesn't look to be it. Spear gets off the call. Will Cole embrace himself here with the Wyvern. Now he should be able to finish this one off with the punches, and it is going to be indeed a second kill for EG. Nicely done there. Whitebeard just controlling the anti-mage, allowing Aoi to get the final touch to get that bonus gold. Yeah, farming, and no one is really contesting him. He's sitting at 1450 gold. Surged up there, can he close the gap? He can indeed get off the call. Funny, he has got a firefly. Can he get himself out of kinetic kill? And doesn't look like he can. As EG, with the rotation, they are able to find them. That's a good question, actually. Uh, I assume we're just gonna see the standard battle fury for starters, yes. and then maybe we'll go into something else later on. And yeah, this is this is how you kill a temporary assassin. A yeah. coil into. If PPD is gonna be able to stop this one. There we go. In fact, they're gonna just jump straight onto PPD. Here, funny. Trying to bring him with the kinetic field's gonna trap him up. Owie, trying to man fight against Goblin for the tree. The, uh, the trap there. The troll. Now some mail coming forward with the orb, waiting rift the coil onto two mana void. Blown up gold like the stun. Controlling a little for the time being and now start to back up, but the static storm is not actually gonna catch him there. Bit of miscontrol there from PPD. Not enough to contain the morphling. Now EG, maybe they're gonna be the ones in the back for icebergs turning up to the fight as well. PPD gonna get bursted down. Let's see if she's very confined until anything else is some ale. Himself out with the orb and now he and some ale. Will get themselves out of there. Team Spirit finding themselves something. Oh, the fight's not over by the looks of it because Fear turned up. Fear walks in on the action. Illidan wait for him himself away, but Samael's back in and bursts him down. Budix come into this one, but he himself could get himself out into the sidelines. As this is a very, very messy fight for Spirit. They're actually going to drop the Winter's Curse onto Samael. Have they actually got the lockdown to deal with this boy? He's phase shift, drive waning, rift onto two. Ticking down low, will he? Probably will. They'll find the puck kill at least. And they find themselves anything more though, Team Spirit. Field coming out, holding Iceberg back. The Splinter Blast will burst through, not quite enough to bring down Fear. And then like that, Team Spirit find themselves too, but still the advantage here for EG. Yeah, what a long fight that was actually. Sumail, he was having an arcane room through pretty much all of that fight, and he dealt so much damage with that Veil on top of the Waning Rift. So good play there by Illidan and the uh, Static Storm, um, I mean the kinetic field was slightly off the mark there from PBD. Yeah. He's coming in, he's found Go Black, closed the gap with the Battle Hunger now, the call, looking to chop down the man. That's Jen, he's going to feel the round of back, so that's going to be one down some Mail as well. Silence onto Fennec, Orbit himself across the, to the left of the fight. Have a DD. Iceberg turns around, gives a snap to Aoi. Iceberg being glimpsed back now. The call as well. They control and they'll take it down. Double kill. The Boulder. Proper Winter's Curse. Can they really try and turn this? Aoi being beat down by his own team. It's not going to be enough to kill him. He'll be fine. Funny. He's got a lasso. Can he get a jump on to someone? Some male just playing games with them, juking him out on the puck. Funny. Uh, he's actually going to get taken down himself. Potentially the Hanukkah comes for risk. Not enough to keep the man alive. Illidan trying to punch Samel down. Samel being searched. A glimpse onto Illidan. Keeping this morphing away from the puck. So again, it's just EG toying with the lineup of Team Spirit. And keeping everyone alive. Yeah, and you saw that anti-mage. This is an anti-mage at 15 minutes. Dealing with Team Spirit's lineup. And I also feel like Team Spirit's lineup has less synergy. Uh, it's just a bit of a... It's kind of confusing what they're doing with their lineup actually. They have both the Morphing and the TA. They are gonna. Oh, Bear with the call cool to free the Static Storm as well. They'll get the Winter's Curse up with the wall as well. Goblin's gonna be the first to go down, Illidan. Trying to get himself out of this one as well. Funnick and Iceberg on the retreat. Dream Cold gonna be dropped onto Always Wanna Fly. They will get the lasso onto Fear, dragging him up the hog. I mean, he gets dragged back. Owie with the Mount Avoid finishes off the second one. The Wyvern's gone. Fear did try for the TP out. The Flame Rate will be enough to finish him off for Owie. Still looking for more, trying to chase Illidan down. He's got the help of Samel jumping forward as well. The silence is in. Iceberg, can he do enough to hold them back? And it looks like he will. Iceberg is going to be able to create the space to, to just stop EG diving any further. Illidan will be able to make him his way back to base, but it's another trade again. Two for one for the side of EG. 
They're constantly coming out on top, and now his farm continues. He's got level fear. Mine's shelled up. Smoke's on them. He's going to look for a jump. If he could catch out that TA, it'd be a great way to start the fighting will. Jumps in, gets the call out. There'll be a corn embrace there. Saving him for some of the damage, but there's a fair bit of magical going through it. And Iceberg's gone. Just like that, EG. Find the TA. To Wyvern will hold them off for the time being. And then coming around on the sidelines. Ice on to PPG. Gets struck up, but again, EG just jumps straight in. Owie's there as well with the mana void that don't. They'll take down Illidan. Dream Call drops onto free. EG, Owie jumping forward. Can they finish off any more from the side of Team Spirit? Go back, falling low, and it'll go. They'll get themselves a third. And it's again a three for one trade for the side of EG. They keep finding the initiations and and Team Spirit, that just always on the back foot. 15 to 4 now. Uh, coming up to think that EG are not there on time. Because if they are, it could get messy. I think EG are actually kind of scared that they are smoked up themselves. So yeah, it looks like there's going to be just a few goals in Team Spirit. Funny, actually getting to jump onto Aoi. They'll be a good back. They've already bought Aoi back. Can they control the anti maze though? No. With the Dream Call on the three. The vacuum, the wall to four. The static zone to follow through as well. One dunk here from Fear. He should be able to find himself more if he can close it on to win it. But Illidan turns around. Adapted Stripe pushing back the axe. But Aoi chasing down Illidan on the morphing. They'll take it. It's going to be a second one for the boys. Fear with a double kill as he dunks down the TA as well. Oh boy. EG once again, ages or not, they'll fight through it and still come out on top of these. Quite far and this could be dangerous. We see EG uh, here. Yeah, if they can get out. Could yeah. be ugly. Yeah, it. It. Oh, with that call. Oh. Has he saved Dowie? No. Oh, he still goes down. The vacuum wall coming through. Oh my goodness, they just all melt. Iceberg trying to make his way back to base, but EG hot on the case, hot on the tails of this TA and he's gone as well. Triple kill for Sumail. And I feel like this is close oh, to, man. I mean, this is close to, you know, an endgame territory here. It's not looking good for the side of Team Spirit. EG are just able to do whatever they want at this point. He acts with that iron shell and just the combo. We see them baiting out top lane. They, they put AOI up there and they know the Team Spirit. They kind of just have to go for those kills on the AOI. They, they got the kill previously on him. They do actually end up getting the anti-mage, but once again, okay, you kill the anti-mage, it doesn't matter. You lose four, you lose five heroes, and they're gonna lose their tier two, they're gonna potentially lose the tier three. We're gonna see if EG actually back off here since some of the spear heroes are starting to respawn, but they're playing this game very well. Very, very well indeed. And we'll see if they can die and try to break the base of fortification. Coming out of the spirit with 15 seconds. Maybe I'm going to go for a quick burst. One, two, three, four. One more right click would have been needed, but he gets that soda, but Samael's gone. Oh, Samael, baby, getting a little greedy there. And that is quite a heavy loss here for the side of EG. They'll have to back off and hold on until Samael's back, really. I mean, they could try and fight with Fort. They may just give it a shot. They do have the ultimate. Size onto Iceberg. In they come, Iceberg. Post the BKB, the wall onto always want to fly. Iceberg going for the right click onto Owie. He's going to pick some people off. He's going to close his attention towards PPD. Takes down the Disruptor. Now Bulba surging away. It'll be fine. But again, I mean, EG try and fight with more. It doesn't end up working out. They drop the, the wall and uh, the, I mean, they, do, they did manage to get out of the static storm. But still, Team Spirit, they're going to be happy with that. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, it starts out with Sumail. He gets a little bit ahead of himself. Ahead of himself. He gets lassoed by the Batrider who has actually just finished up his. Yeah, we're gonna see one more kill on the chin. Yeah, he just just falls casual. Into the and they end up getting one more kill onto the Disruptor. I think that AUI could have actually. Look at this, man. He's jumped in onto two. That'll be the call of President. Always wanna fly Bulbar as well here. Coming in with the vacuum. The white one's gonna be gone. Fear still spinning. BKB's been popped by Flooding and Iceberg as well as he's ready to try and move back in. Bulbar. Surges himself away, Fear to King down low, they will get it there, blown him up, the adapter strike, Iceberg, eyes up to BPD, Static Storm onto two, but they'll be able to walk out, and they'll take down PPD, they all look at the TL, they'll finally burst him, so it's a two for two at the moment, Illidan, he's got the eyes on Owie, low on mana, Go Black and Illidan are going to look to try and chase him down, I don't think they've got the damage to deal with him, they're trying to nuke him down, but it's the nuke from Samael that's too much, with the Dagon, Finds himself for himself a double kill. Illidan at the moment just toying with him. At the same time, Owie and Bulba chase up to the north to finish off Funny, and they're coming in for the finish. Samael playing around with Illidan, and Owie's there to join in the fun. 
getting the stun onto Howie, but Samael has got a dagger. And he's going to look to use it. Hasn't got the man and the right flicks is enough with the silence, and he'll get another kill on the anti mage there, Howie. On the plus, he did actually manage to get himself to the secret <laughs> he shop to buy off that. His yeah. Email, yeah. <laughs> just in time. Yeah, it's nice that he actually ended up so close to that. Uh, the fight is just won from there. Even killing out of here like the Winter Wyvern at this point is quite big for EG. So gets the jump there. out Illidan. I think I'm on the side. Went through a body. Wants to be him and he grabs Samalia. Ice Spokes there with the damage. Now takes Samalia out. Oh no, he didn't actually see the face shift on the time. Samalia still alive here for the time being. The wall's been dropped here to the North Bulba. Surging himself away. They'll jump down onto Illidan. They'll find themselves the Morph and kill an Owie. We're going to come back in. Silence coming out of the Iceberg. Squirrel still with his BKB. Going for the kill on PVD. Gets the crit. Gets the takedown. Fear coming back in with Owie as well. And the right click. The DPS is too much. Iceberg's gone. He has got the Aegis. He's going to be there for round two. He needs the backup of his team. But his team, they're having to bail. They're having to leave him behind. And Iceberg's gone. Funnick got chased down as well by Sun. Quite a while as we've seen Eiji coming back and forth on his lane. Now he just jumps straight in. Onto Owen will find no messing and the mana void as well. Seal the deal. Takes the kill. Iceberg controlled up by the call, the Dagon, and now the Dream Coil. On to two. He's already two dead without any buyback available. Now he's trying to chase Bunnick away. He's got the Firefly. He will be fine. Bulba surging up back in. On to three. Double kill for how he jumps in. Fear gets the dunk off. Only Illidan surviving. None of the rest of Spirit with buybacks available. And this very well could be it. EG to take this series to a game three. As uh, one Rax. Two sets of Rax. A GG well played is called. EG had stepped it up massively here in game two. You and us kind of performance at the, at the level we'd expect from some of the players in the town that we know that we've got on EG. And 40 to 13, 40 minutes in. Game two goes to the boys in blue. And uh, we'll be going to a game three for this final series of the day. Yeah, what a great game by EG. EG Baluba stepping it up on his Dark Seer. Yeah. Fear actually finding a lot of those initiations. I like that the AUI, I like this build. I thought it was interesting to see at least. I don't know if we're going to see more of this in the future. but. There's...